Now we are going to go to the next skills. Uh, skills number five is listen for who and what and where in passive. Okay, next, that was all about the skills number four. Now we are going to go to the next skills. Uh, skills number five is listen for who and what and where in passive. All right, maybe in a grammar class you have learned about passive. Passive, for example, I eat bread become Bread uh, uh, is eaten by me. It's so active and passive. Now we we are going to focus on uh, uh, skills of d drawing conclusion about who, what, and where in passive. Who is the speaker? What will they do next? And where the conversation take place? So that's also but in passive. Let's 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 directly look at the example of the question. Or the dialogue or, or in the recording you hear woman said Alice needs to pay her tuitions today and the man said but her tuition has already been paid but her tuition has already been paid the narrator said what does the man imply what does the man imply okay imply you know imply right Oh, so what 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 does the man imply? A in your answer choices in your answer paper you read uh, Alice's education has paid off. B Alice's tuition needs to be paid. C Alice has already been has already paid her fees. D Alice has already received the money. So repeat the repeat the dialogue again. The woman said, "Alice needs to pay her tuition today," and the man said, "But her tuition has already been paid." It means that the tuition has already been paid means it is in passive. So it same as in the choices you choose, the best answer will be A, B, C, or D. Okay, if you choose C, that is the answer. So, the tuition has already been paid means that Alice has already paid her fees. That's the synonym actually. From passive into active sentence. Okay, that's the, ex the example. Next, go to the next um, example. In, on recording, you hear men say, "Have you been talking good care?" Oh, sorry, have you been taking good care of the lawn? The woman said, "I watered it only this morning." What does the woman mean? Okay, can you guess the the answer? A. She drank some water on the lawn this morning. She drank some water on the lawn this morning. It seems similar, but the meaning is very different. Okay, B. She waited for him on the lawn this morning. She waited for him on the lawn this morning. It's also actually similar sound. So with the dialogue you hear, but the meaning is very different. She waited for him on the lawn this morning so she waited not water but she waited next C the lawn has already been watered today the lawn has already been watered today the man has already been watered today it's passive actually okay but the meaning will be the same with the woman what have the woman stated that's I watered it only this morning so it's same as 
the loan has been watered this morning. So actually the question is in active statement and the, the choices, the answer is in passive form. So you must be ready for that, okay? And Delta, Delta is, she wanted a new loan this morning. She wanted a new loan this morning. So Delta is not the answer because C is the best answer. Uh, the form or the passive form of uh, the active statement of the woman in the recording you hear. Active, passive, passive, active. Must be ready for that. Next, the third, the, the third example is uh, when the man said, uh, you, in, in recording you hear, did you hear the news about the child who was lost in the park? And the woman answered, Yes, and I heard that she was just found. Repeat. Yes, and I heard that she was just found. Maybe you get the point already. And then the narrator said, what does the woman mean? What does the woman mean? A, someone located the girl. B, she heard about the new part from the child. C, the child found her lot, her, her lost pet. D. The child was the last one in the park. That all A, B, C, and D seems that a, it is uh, quite similar about what you have heard in the dialogue or in the recording. But you know what is only one best answer of the questions. So what? is the best answer of the question based on the woman's statement or the second speaker of that uh, the, of the dialogue the woman said yes and i heard that she was just found she was just found a very close meaning with that someone located the girl if you choose if just now you choose a yes you're right that's the answer is a someone located the girl okay well, well, well. Next, uh, we go to the, the to the last skill of today's meeting or today's session. So the last skill is about listen for who and what with multiple nouns. Multiple nouns. Okay, who and what with multiple nouns. Maybe you can get the point of this. So multiple nouns means that not only one, not single, but may, some nouns prepared on the dialogue so you will be messed up by the number of the noun so let's see let's take a look directly to the to the dialogue or, or or to the recording so that you will really get the points about this skill for example on your on on the recording you hear the man said do you know who is the who is in the band now the woman said, I heard that Mara replaced Robert in the band. What does the woman say about the band? Huh? Get a point? I'll repeat again once more. On the recording you hear, the man said, Do you know who is, the, who is in the band now? And then the woman said, I heard that Mara replaced Robert in the band. Mara replaced Robert. So Mara replaced Robert. And then the narrator said, what does the woman say about the band? In your test book or in the computer screen, you read, A, Robert became a new member of the band. Robert or Mara? Mara or Robert? B, Robert took Mara's place in the band. Robert took Mara's place or Mara took the Robert place? Okay, C. Mara's didn't, Mara didn't have a place in the band. So no place for Mara in the band. <laughs> okay, and D. Mara took Robert's place in the band. Based on the woman's statement that she said, I heard that Mara replaced Robert in the band means that Mara replaced Robert means that Mara 
took Robert's place in the band. So that's the best answer. So be careful on the multiple nouns when you are listening the dialogue because of you will be, you know what, uh, messed up by the number of the nouns. For example, Maraz and Robert, for example, uh, uh, the names of the, um, the names of the fruit, banana, apple, or a pineapple, for example, next on the re recording that you hear. So, uh, yeah, practice makes, practice makes perfect. So that's why actually all we need to do is try to practice all on and on in on, on, on the listening section so as i have told you before that um skills is just like a knife when you want to eat an apple actually you can eat directly the apple yes that's right but when you use the knife you can peel it you can cut chop it maybe cut in several parts and then you can eat the apple so by learning the, the skills of TOEFL, the skills of TOEFL in part A, so you can get the best answer of the questions provided in the test. Well, my beloved students, I think that's all about the skills. Um, skill four, five, and six. Skill four, five, and six. Skill Four is about who, what, and where, and then skill five is who, what, and where in passive, and the six, uh, the six, the skills number six is that uh, be careful about what in multiple nouns about about uh, the point is about multiple nouns. So I think you can do it. You can do the best and practice a lot. So. The, the, the practice will be uh, the practice that will be provided and don't forget to always listen listen and listen and listen to sharpen the knife that you have so that you can eat the apple in a very comfortable way well i think that's all thank you for your attention we'll see you again in the next session and don't forget to subscribe and always like, give like to the, to the channel of our beloved campus. Thank you very much. See you. And finally, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selanjutnya, kita saksikan video Profil Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia. Lampung, the treasures of Sumatra, is a province that becomes the gateway to the Sumatra Island. Lampung has two municipalities and 13 districts, consisting of 234 sub-districts. The province with an area of 35,587 km squares owns millions of extraordinary natural beauty. Education in Lampung province is also highly considered and colored by the existence of Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia. Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia has three faculties and 12 study programs. Faculty of Engineering and Computer Sciences with the six study programs. Electrical Engineering, Civil Engineering, Computer Engineering, Information Technology, Informatics, and Information System. Faculty of Economics and Business with two study programs, Management and Accounting. Faculty of Arts and Education with four study programs English Literature, Mathematics Education, English Education, and Physical Education Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia believes that education is the key to the advancement of a nation Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia commits to produce and develop future leaders through the education of quality characters this receives a very good receptions and trust from the community which is marked by increasing interest in students from year to year.
The students and lecturers have lots of achievements and awards. Also, our quality is recognized by National Accreditation Board for Higher Education and many international collaborations. Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia also prepares the students to face the globalization era through the use of digital technology. Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia has a number of representative facilities provided to support the learning process, such as comfortable classroom, laboratories, information technology, and the internet. Our vision is to be an excellent university in Sumatra with international standard and able to play an active role in nation building through three pillars of higher education comprising education, research, and community service. We have graduated outstanding students who can be accepted in state agencies and other large companies. At Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia, the students and lecturers are encouraged to create and innovate by creating products and services that benefit the community through research activities and community services. In an effort to achieve its visions and missions, the academics of Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia are guided by the organizational culture values of discipline, quality, creative, and innovative. To support the quality of learning processes, we have very complete and sophisticated facilities, including digital-based smart classroom, hotspot in campus area, sport facilities, auditorium, and students' hall. Come and be a part of us, the Campus of Champion, Universitas Teknokrat Indonesia. Terima kasih sudah menyaksikan video pembelajaran ini. Jangan lupa like, comment dan subscribe serta nyalakan tanda loncengnya agar kalian tidak ketinggalan informasi update lainnya. Party, 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 party.